President, thank you. This amendment is very, very narrowly tailored. It's in response to the bill. I've talked to several of the bill sponsors, and they've told me their intent is to be able to protect religious liberty, which I appreciate that, to be able to have a balanced perspective in this particular bill, because people of goodwill on both sides have disagreements in this area. The problem is there are three certain areas of the text that do not actually meet that standard of being a balanced pr protection. So this amendment goes into those three areas, corrects the text to make sure it actually says it's going to protect religious liberty. And it's three areas. One is a very wide perspective of any entity operating under the color of state law. That's a very broad net on that. We tried to be able to correct that one. The second one deals with striking the private right of action on this, which will dramatically increase the number of lawsuits. I can assure you if Congress passes a law that opens up a new lane for lawsuits, there will be lots of new lawsuits in that area. In the third area is in 7A, where it talks about protecting all these rights as it does not, or, or if it does arise from a marriage, not from a belief in a marriage. So we're trying to correct that text to make sure it's not just the action of marriage, but also the belief of marriage. So that's what this amendment does. Gentlemen's time has expired.